So here starts episode three of the lore through walk through Horizon Forbidden West. We as we have landed into the Daunt, meant Studious Wadis, and need to get to Chain Scrape as well as Baron Light to start the embassy. But the problem is Studious Wadis will not proceed through the valley until the machines are cleared. That should be relative child's play, given that we are running NG+, plus and we have our weapons max upgraded. But we're still going to take a stealthy approach like Ailu would do. We're not just going to run in and gun everything down. So down here in the first encounter in the valley, I can see at least one burrower. There is another one across the ridge there, a burrower. We need to start getting... And there's a third burrower right here. We're at least going to try to take out things effectively and efficiently without getting into a, a melee scrum. Happy Saturday to you too, Lethos. Welcome in. So a single shot should rip these guys from this bow. Yep. What's wrong with the pig? Happy you. Stand up. You're fine. Oh, I didn't need you to push me, though. Machines must have torn through this camp. This valley definitely isn't safe. There we go. He wallowed a bit too deep in the mud, that pig? Yeah. Like he was, it looked like he was in pain, though. Like It didn't look like he was having fun over there. It was a loving headbutt. Alright, so we have... Yeah, we don't have access to that yet because we cannot override one of those for a while. We will need to acquire a mount at some point, but we're in good shape otherwise. <laughs> I get up really slow as well, too, for... Alright, so that over there is Greenshine, which we really don't need, but it's there, so we're going to collect it. But again, the entire intent as we move into this third episode is to just do a slow walk, and sometimes swim apparently, through the world of Forbidden West so that the plot, lore, and world can be consumed at a better pace. So I will not be sprinting very much. So hey, chain scrapes that way. Good, that's the way we need to go. We have two quest markers down there. Two markers that are part of the same quest. <laughs> Press his life alert. Matt's pushes Perm out of his chair. Perm has fallen and he can't get up. I understand that pain. It's a dead machine. There must be a bristleback. Maybe Errand took it down? So that's a bristleback. Soaked with acid. Did the bristlebacks do this? And you'll remember that they are not native to this area, to the Daunt. That was said to us by the man operating the lift. Well, so why are they here? Jeruf said I could get my bow upgraded in there. I'd be able to tinker with my other gear too. Alright, so let's look at our quest here and see what it is. I do have the quest minimized, so it's not always on the uh on the map. Erend is going to be way down here, so it's better to go to Chain Scrape first. God, having this map recovered is it is intimidating. There's a quest here for us to do. There is Chain Scrape to discover. Erend's a little bit further down the road, so we will go to Chain Scrape and figure out what is going on there. So this is a frontier town of awesome design. Want to come in, Savior? Um, yes, please. Welcome to Chainscrape, Savior. Open up, guys. Jor of servers. Good enough for me.
The rough timestamp of the stream is three hours, ten minutes. The rough timestamp of episode three's recording the is five minutes, Tish. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you too. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland? You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story. Best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. You gotta move on. Petra. But. If you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. Petra also has a thing for Aloy. Well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Not really. We really don't, but... We'll do it so that we can progress the story. Because the quest requires us to. So here's your weapon upgrading system. As you can see, the only weapons we can't we need to upgrade are I'm not really concerned with the ancestors return, I'm probably gonna store it, and then the hunter bow. So it wants us to upgrade the hunter bow. Which requires fifty metal shards and one piece of braided wire. I think we're okay. Stop. Oven blows that whistle, no one there are a lot of side quests here. Which we're likely going to take our time to do before we proceed to the embassy. It's in a few days, so we have time. But let's go ahead and go over to our stash here, which is actually all the things we've carried over from the first playthrough. And let's go ahead to our inventory and let's put away the Ancestor's Return, because I'm not going to use it. And... Let's put the hunter bow away. So we're out here in the heat. We're going to put on something a little bit more relevant to the heat. We're in an Osram town. I don't have that with me, though. Um, let's see. What looks like it's the coolest thing we own? Probably that. Now we're dressed like Varl. So Quest is taking us down there now to go see Erend. Upgrade the Hunter Bow, find Erend. We're not going to do that yet. We're going to pick up some of these side quests. So that one is 39. That one is 68. That one is 34. Let's go over here and see what this one is. We're not going to do melee pits and hunting... Uh, hunter grounds just because I've done them and they're not very war heavy and this gentleman here is actually relevant Javad that's Olvind and that's Javad they're having a dispute over the self declared leader of chain scrapes work stoppage you mean the land that honest Osram laborers work tirelessly with no say in its governance? The land that should you sign the decree... Oh, you and that damned concession decree... ...would be managed by the people who actually live and work on it. What do you want, Albert? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it. What other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. 
Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olvent Freehold, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osirum lives! Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work, while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people, for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. If Chain Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? <coughs> ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chain Scrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder, and its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. You said you founded Chain Scrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in Baron Light's shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the Magistrate? Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more! So, Olvind. <laughs> Obviously, he's shady. He obviously doesn't want Aloy here at all. You can tell by the way that he's, like, even in this scene, trying to obstruct what she's looking at. He is the prototype bad union boss who's promising a bunch and will earn it all off the back of other people. But the major problem here is still the bristlebacks, which seem to be a problem for Olvind as well, or at least the ability to get work done by the Karja. He is saying that the, the danger in the valley of these bristlebacks is the reason that the he has organized the Osram to stop, stop working until the Karja clean it up, clean up their mess, as he said. Where's the whistle? 
right in the middle of town. But with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. And when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. So we have a side quest. Let's see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. We have a side quest to take out the Bristlebacks, which is both self-serving toward our ability to get to the embassy and the conflict, which is currently going down in Chain Scrape. But let's do as Aloy said. Let's go see what the Karja magistrate has to say. As we just walk around stealing other people's things. Another side quest there. I believe we can wrap that one up relatively quickly, but we're going to talk to the Magistrate first. He also has something on the table, which we're going to read. My eyebrows. A complaint form smudged with ash and filled with angry glyphs. Scroll. A complaint form smudged with ash and filled with angry glyphs. Javad, please help. The production in question is in question maimed me. I filled out the required form below. And I still can't even get a refund from Della and Boomer. I beg you, give me justice. We'll meet Della and Boomer. Complainant. Jordert Guardsman. Product description. Bang Buster, I think. Boom Buster, does it matter? I bought it three days ago. I know you remember me. Incident description. Again, I just told you. I was demonstrating the scorched out hammer to my fellow guardsman by slamming it onto a piece of rock and instead of booming the rock it boomed towards me and now i don't have any eyebrows am i surprised am i sad nobody can tell since i no longer have eyebrows so in case you weren't aware let me tell you i'm very unhappy and i want my shards back refund denied customer was made fully aware of the prototype's volatility at the time of purchase proceed with purchase regardless proclaiming i am not a baby and for those of you that know boomer from playing the game, that's pretty funny. But let us talk with Javad the Willing. Savior, thank you for taking the time. And my condolences that you had to endure Olvan's bloviating. I've dealt with worse. That sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the Daunt, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. What about this concession decree that Olvent is saying is one of the keys to getting the Osram back to work? What is this concession decree that Olvent wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the Bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the Mad Sun King. And with the Bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvant has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. 
And if the Osirom refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. What do you do here, Magistrate? How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Olvind blasting hot air all the time? Olvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. What about these bristlebacks? You said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth... Maybe Olvund will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. It's possible. Let's go talk to our friend, the cook. Well, he's not our friend yet. He's about to become our friend. Mildef. Hey, Mildef. Mildef. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. I felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you no oh my apologies it's just that his minions won't stop pestering me <sighs> now i need to warn out my special grill since i'm in the midst of a crisis perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted some of your food of course let me get a little bit more insight here on olvin as well are olvin's people causing you problems Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, not trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they liked my food. More than ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. All right. So we have the bitter leaf. We need five 
wild meat, and we need to go to the scrounger site because we can't just hand him a part. Okay. I've got a couple of side quests. I think there's one more floating around here. Maybe. Remember to clonk that back follow back button. And give this game a save because we haven't saved yet. And we're starting to set ourselves up with a couple of errands to run here. There is still one side quest here. Save. All right, one more set of cutscenes here, and we will get outside of chain scrape again. Start figuring out what we're doing next. We went the wrong way. There's another piece of lore here, which we'll read in a second. This is our noof. What happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. <clears throat> it won't be the last injury if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? Northeast of Chain Scrape, where the river ends. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave in happened, but. <sighs> Olven probably threatened to cut off her pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? What happened to you? You mentioned you were injured in a cave in. Yeah. <clears throat> a couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as the blast hit, Tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We were pushing too hard and too fast. And you're afraid Corvin and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. How come Olven's in charge? Don't these mines belong to the Karja? Try telling Olven that. He brought in all the backing to get them open. Might as well own them. <laughs> Fire and spit. You ask him. He owns us as well. Who's Corvin? He's our foreman. And a damn good one. The kind that knows how to deal with management when it gets unreasonable. But Olven... <laughs> his demands go beyond unreasonable. Corvin's been doing his best to appease him. He even blamed himself for my injury when it was Olven who ordered the extra shifts. Sounds like a good guy. That's why we all put up with the long hours and lousy conditions. But if the whole mine becomes unstable, I'd rather suffer Olven's wrath than die buried in rubble. I could check in on your crew if I'm in the area. I... would appreciate that. Thank you. All right. So we've picked up these side quests to begin unpacking the problem that is Olvind, and we are going to do the mine first because it's the most out of the way and in the opposite direction of the quest. We'll stay dressed in the gear we have on now. It's fitting for the area. We're not going to get into too much heavy combat here, but we're going to head out to the mine and see if we can get to the bottom of what's going on there and how Olvin seems to be endangering the people that supposedly work for him, even though I don't know how he got put in charge. So we're going to go back up the hill. to the where the river ends northeast of here and along the way see what other trouble there is to get into We'll stay away from those burrowers. We have 1600. It's a little low in my. Oh, hello. We also have to get some wild meat, so we should start killing some of these boars along the way, too. But let's take care of that burrower first. Actually, it's the three burrowers, and that one's going to be our problem, kid. Let's see if we can get rid of this boar if it didn't disappear on us. It disappeared on us. I haven't had to hunt animals in a while, so we will have to just be cognizant of the need to hunt animals here. Let's see if we can just slip past.
I will almost continuously collect berries and wood. Simply oh, hello, you're gonna see us, aren't you? Before you can say anything. That, though, we need to kill. And I'm gonna need to get to it, which means I'm probably gonna have to take out these other burrowers. Yeah, that one's already curious. Oh, that didn't hurt him all the way. Die. For the very common machines, yes, I do t tend to have their weak spots memorized without scanning them. There is a piece of lore over there, which we walked past before, I believe. Indeed, there is. Oh, we didn't read the one back in town either. We will when we go back. Sun Liquor Politics. A grease-stained scroll filled with hastily scrawled glyphs. These sun liquors and their scorched-out diplomacy. Let's not fuss around the fort. It's a pretty word the Karja use for not stepping on Tanakh's toes. Which they shouldn't. They have every reason to be afraid of those brutes, but I'm not Karja. I didn't try and invade the West over and over again just because I felt like it. I have no use for these embassies. Another polite term for waving the white flag and saying, please don't kill us. And now I'm stuck on this side of the wall too, because the Karja couldn't keep it in their sheath. Yeah, sure, things are different now. Sun King of Vod believes in peaceful dialogue. whoop de doo for you. But simple delvers, traders, and tinkerers like me are sitting on our hands until the priests and marshals finish their little tea party or whatever it is they do out there. Not to mention our brothers and sisters on the, on the other side of the wall. How are they supposed to get help and supplies when the gate is shut tight? Now referring to Baron Light's gate. How much longer do we have to cool our heels? I've heard they're waiting on some sun priest to arrive, but weren't those nitwits the root of the problem to begin with? They riled up the mad sun king to start the western invasion in the first place. Writing this was supposed to calm me down, but it's only blown up the bellows. The longer that gate stays closed, the more shards I lose. I've had it. I'm heading over to Baron Light. Someone's going to get a blast of hot air for all the good it will do. So the term in this that's really important is marshals. Um, you'll learn what marshals are, but marshals are a part of Tanakh culture, and that's where I'll leave that piece for now. Let's go ahead and uh, pick up the pieces of the burrowers we've killed and then continue heading over to the mine. We have gotten that one already. We got our piggy, which was the reason we came over, or the pea carry, as I believe they're called. And we'll go back across the river. That is not a burrower. That is a longhorn, I think. A fanghorn, not a longhorn. Now, there's another. another there's another piggy down there. Yeah, that Fanghorn is now curious about us. We gotta get wild meat. We can get Mildef back in business. Alright, Mr. Fanghorn. I know you don't like having your horns hit, but what about that back there? That's not enough to upset you. The horns will definitely do it. Oh, fire the bow, Aloy. There we go. Missed that shot. Missed that shot. How about we just hit you in your eye? That probably scared off that pig, though. It sure did. He's up there, man.
Easy enough to get him to turn, face the way I wanted. Scrap pile. Process metal block. Take the antler. I don't need these parts, but they are tradable, and if we ever find ourselves in a pinch for shards, then we have the materials to trade. Which is one of the things I like about Horizon, is everything's got a purpose, even if it doesn't have an immediate purpose. But we'll continue down the path and see what's going on down in this mine. There's a couple, what are those? Scroungers? Yep. And we do have to cross the bridge according to the quest marker, so let's see if we can take one of these boys out from distance. Which means we're going to go to a different bow. This is the distance bow. Bam. Regala's Wrath. Nasty, nasty bow. Sharp shot bow. Best distance bow in the game. Best Scanners. use for stealth. Said I could find a metal hey, we're here for Mildiff's thing too, so let's go ahead and take care of this while we're here. Start collecting some of these parts. And I know we've got one more scrounger floating around. And he's over there. And I th is that a scrounger or is that. That's for sure a scrounger. Dead. Dead scrounger. I love that bow. I love Regala's Wrath so much, but its arrows are so stinking expensive. There's another one. There. That should be enough wild meat for Mildiff. Let's get off that bow. Alright. No metal panel. No metal panel. Check another scrap pile. Because it will never be the first one you look in. I think we've wiped out the machines that were here. Let's see if we find our part for Mildiff. Nope. Revali's Gale? Yeah. Regala's Wrath? Well, we'll meet Regala here in a little while. Probably not today, though. We probably will wrap this, this live episode and the overall day's recordings up at about the four hour mark, so at about one o'clock, a little bit after. One of have everything I need for Mildred? Sweet. Good thing too. One of the things I did do in prep for this was I tried to minimize the intrusiveness of the UI. Like the the quest will disappear. It doesn't sit there persistently. I have to go into the menu and look, and I felt that was a, a good choice to, to keep the the game as immersively up in front of everybody as possible. This few UI elements, like they come up when I need them to come up, and that's a matter of customizing it in the in the settings. So 275 meters to go until we're at our destination. It's getting a little snow covered over here, so that means, as I will do throughout this playthrough, go ahead and put on something a little bit warmer. I don't think I need to mess with those burrowers. I don't, we don't need the parts. I don't need that raccoon either. We have the meat we need for Mildiff. There is a machine up here on the ridge though. I need to get some wood. Those are chargers. 
I should probably override one of them so I have a mount, but I really don't use mounts too much. Well, apparently you don't want to be around too much anymore, so... Bye. Got too curious over there, kid. Let's see if we can sneak up on one just to have one in case we want one. Put your head back down. Okay. Exactly how we wanted that to go down. You can stay there, my friend. We're not going to bring you with us. And we'll continue on to the mine. Smoke. Coming from where Arnav said I'd find his crew. Now we'll run because the the story has that urgency to it. So we will sprint up there to see what's wrong. Smoke coming from the mine. This must be the mine Arnav told me about. It looks like the miners are in trouble. That looks like the foreman Arnav mentioned. There's Corvin, the good foreman. You good? I, I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin, Arnav sent me. I'm not, not now. Ah. Uh, Sir, easy. happy Saturday. Good to see you. What happened? Explosion in the mine. Water flooded the whole place. I, some of my guys are still... They're still down there. I can't, can't stop. You've done enough. Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. I need to know exactly what happened. We use control blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't. I have to go. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh... Two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. Alright, into the mine to rescue the last two of Corvin's men who didn't escape from whatever collapse has caused the problem here. We are in the Crimson Narrows, as this mine is apparently called. Gotta find those two miners, quick. Good news is, is I can breathe underwater. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Sounds like sabotage, or just poor engineering. The miners. One of them doesn't look too good. Don't give me that. I'm not going anywhere. Are you okay? Who are you? I get the eerie joke. Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I... I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel. The scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I, I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. She'll still be some up top, but you'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move, and I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. I need to find whatever's blocking that drainage shaft. 
I've lowered sky high. Hopefully without getting your mind down on top of me. Now, obviously we can't swim against this current, but Per made the uh, the joke that this water is an eerie, E-R-I-E shade of yellow and green, which is an algae bloom joke in Lake Erie for my brain, so. Alright, so we, the current is preventing us from getting through that path, and I honestly don't have much memory of this quest. The guy just likes explosions? Yeah, probably. That's the way we came. He's telling us to go that way, but we can't. Or I didn't do it right. Let's try it again. Or maybe we can. Nope. There we go. Need to do the boost. Almost there. Okay. We're in the next chamber. This ladder is obviously our way up. Why can't I breathe water? Because as the game goes on, you acquire certain gear. This doesn't happen until later in the game, but in NG+, I possess the diving mask, so I don't need to worry about breathing underwater. I can just... I have a rebreather. Far more convenient. There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives up on that track... Maybe I can blast with the blockage. Okay, so we cannot stand on that, so we're gonna have to go over here. Open a box. How to get up. Don't think we can hit that from here. No, we're crouched. For whatever reason. Oh, hello. Maybe I can swim past unnoticed. Nah. Maybe I can swim past unnoticed. You just said that, Aloy. We're gonna take these guys out so they're not a hassle. Oh, there's another one of you over here, huh? Missed. Oh. Wasn't a bad Sorry. shot for firing and then diving. Gotta find a way out of this room. I should follow those tracks. See if they lead to the explosives. Okay. I need to find a way up to those explosives. There's the other one we killed. <laughs> Oop, over. There we go. Crouching again. Let's see where this leads. Can't. Uh, can't open that? Okay, good. I'm glad it was there then. Can't open that one either. Awesome. 
All right, where do we come in at? I just got turned around. Came in from here. Yep, there's some tracks. And the game wants us to progress to our left, so that is where we will go. There it is. Cannot pull on that. There's what we need to pull. So this will save us Those time if we fall. Up on the track. Just need to get across this, this will give us our path over. One moment. All right. Now to make it across there. And if we fall, we've got our ladder now. But we didn't fall. There are, are our explosives. Remember to clonk that follow button. Uh oh. Not stealth in these guys. I looked away. Come on, game. Oh, I thought that was up higher. Okay. Thank you for the knockdown. That's wonderful. Now let's go check on those miners. Not that we need the materials, but we're gonna grab it anyway. All right, let's see how our friends are doing now that we've drained the water out of here. Which means moving these boxes. Good enough. That'll get the job done. She's so good. We don't know that. That's not nice to say. I just helped. Looks like everyone's okay. I can't believe we're not gonna die. You're telling me you did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. All right. So we'll get out of the mine here and wrap it up for the day and wrap episode three up here. Better let Corvin know his men are all right. And then we'll go back into this mine probably. I'll do that on the side just to clean up the boxes and the lootables. And if I find any lore stuff, um, we'll pause there. But we're going to get out of here. Yeah, nice. I, the idea, that's the idea, Rocket, is to give people something that's more digestible so they don't feel like they have to be in the middle of things. Um, I want to do it in kind of one hour blocks. I'm keeping my eye on the time. I'm trying to well, do both a YouTube production pretty. and a live stream at the same time. So yeah, three episodes in one go is nice. But let's go talk to Corvin here and let him know that his people are okay. I found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> It is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvut, he kept pushing and pushing me. 
I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I... I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. All right, he has an exclamation point. Name keeps coming up, and it's never good. So the first thing that's important there is Champion's Token. Ten of those are necessary to buy one of the new legendary weapons. So let's see what Corbin has to say before we call it a day here. Thank you, Huntress. I'll see the last two make it out. All right, well, that's all you got to say. Then we will pick episode four up here soon. But that is where we'll stand for now. I appreciate you all hanging out with me today. Let's find a campfire and save. If there is one near us, there is. That campfire is over this direction. And that is where we will call it a day. A conveniently located shelter. Hey, look, can take a break. We will take a break. And we will be back in the future with more lore through of Horizons and Forbidden West. I just have to be very careful. Because this right here is my most recent non-NG Plus save, and I don't want to overwrite it. So we are going to create a new save game for us and continuously use that one. Peace out, hombres, as Mads said in chat. But we are going to be done. And thank you for watching. Those of you who are following along on YouTube, thank you for uh, giving this a shot and seeing what it's like. And if you're enjoying there, you know, hit the like and subscribe thing. I'd appreciate it. For those of you here on Twitch... Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, if you enjoyed what we're doing here today, give us a follow. And uh, more to come as our Horizon Forbidden West lore through continues moving forward.